sum and difference identities. So there are two different sets of sum identities and difference identities. The word sum means to add and difference means to subtract. So let me explain you these identities over here and then we will go from there. So there are some formulas which you have to keep in mind whenever you are you applying sum and difference identities. So this is an example of sum identity. This is also sum identity. This is also sum identity. So cosine of a plus b the formula is cosine of a cosine of b minus sine of a and sine of b. Similarly we have formula for sine of a plus b. Sine a cosine of b plus cosine of a sine of b. We now we have tangent a plus b. The formula is tangent a plus tangent b divided by 1 minus tangent a tangent b. Uh, now we are having difference identities. Uh, cosine of a minus b. The formula is cosine of a cosine of b plus sine of a sine of b. Now you can see the difference over here. This formula was having a minus sign but this is having a plus sign. Similarly for sine a minus b if you can memorize this formula only thing is the difference is the negative sign. And similarly for is uh, the last one tangent a minus b the formula is tangent a tangent tangent a minus tangent b divided by 1 plus tangent a tangent b. Uh, these are some more important formulas which should be noted down. This is even odd formulas. Uh, sine of negative say theta is, is your negative sine theta. Now your sine theta and your uh, tangent theta are called odd formulas. But your cosine of negative theta is your positive cosine theta. That's your even formula. The same applies to their reciprocal also. Cosecant of negative theta is your negative cosecant theta. But secant is your positive again cotangent of negative theta is negative cotangent theta. Question says find the exact value of sine 15 degree. So I have given you hint over here hint says write 15 degree as the sum or difference of angle measures with signs that you have. Basically what we are trying to do is we are trying to find sine 15 in the from this table over here. This means you are looking for two numbers on adding or subtracting but you have to use these numbers only it should give you 15 degree over here. So I will start from here uh, if I will do 30 minus 0 so 30 minus 0 does not give me 15 but what about 45 minus 30 yes. So if you can see if I will do 45 minus 30 my answer is what 15. Now you can also do this thing you can also do 60 minus 40 well, look here I took 60 and I took 45 I still get what 15. So I can either take this or I can take this combination or I can take this combination also. You know usually don't try to go for some big numbers over here just try to work out with small. So we came to the conclusion that my question says sine 15 degree I can rewrite it like this sign this is this sign over here now instead of 45 what I will do over here is I will write over here 45 degree minus 30 degree. What is 45 minus 30 that's your 15 so, and I got those two numbers from this part over here. So it makes some sense. Now the next step for you is you have to find out which formula you will use. Now think like this if I will consider this as A and this as B. So if I will do this it is telling me I can have I can use formula sine A minus B. So what I did I gave you all the formulas in front of you so you can go back and clearly check sine A minus B we will use this formula. So what is the formula? Formula says sine of A times cosine of B minus cosine of A sine of what? B. I will rewrite the formulas over here for you just to avoid any confusion. This is your sine of B and this is your cosine of A. This will be sine of B. Okay, just to make it easy for everybody. Now after this what I, what I can do is I can expand this. 
so when i expand this it will be like this sine now look at this part when i'm expanding this a what is my a a is my 45 sine of a times cosine of b what is the value of b the value of b is 30 degree minus sine cosine of a i'll write cosine how i got cosine of a i looked over here now a so this is my a that's my 45 degree times b sine of b so i'll write over here sine and what is the value of b that's your 30 degree after this step what you will need is you will need your calculator to find the answer so i will take my calculator over here and i'll write over here sine 45 so what is sine 45 over here sine 45 is what radical 2 over 2 so i'll write my value of sine 45 that's your radical 2 over 2 now i will find my value of what cosine of 30 so this is my cosine and that's my 30 degree radical 3 over 2 minus cosine of 45 degree so this is your cos that's your 45 degree radical 2 over 2 and similarly for sine 30 degree that's your one here okay now i will work out i will simplify this to find my answer now wh what is the easy way to do this is you can type everything in your calculator also so let's use this fraction button over here okay this is my radical 2 so radical 2 over 2 close parenthesis again open another one parenthesis this is radical 3 over 2 so this is your radical 3 divided by 2 you can close parenthesis over here minus sign keep in mind this is your minus sign again you open one parenthesis this says radical 2 over 2 you can close parenthesis over here again one more parenthesis this is your 1 and that's your 2 in the denominator and when you press the equal button it gives you the answer radical 6 minus radical 2 over 4 so i'll write over here radical 6 minus radical 2 over 4 so let me write it over here let me cross check my answer radical 2 over 4 radical 2 over 4 so this is the answer for this question over here this is your question number two find the value of cosine 50 degree now i will write over here cosine of 15 and i will come to my table over here so i can look which two numbers can give me 15 degree again i know 45 minus 30 can give me what 15 degree and i also know 16 minus 45 can give me 15 degree 135 minus 120 can give me 15 degree 150 minus 135 still give me 15 degree i can pick anything whatever i want to do but i will still keep my this time i will take these two 60 and 45 so i know what i can do is i can write cosine of 15 like this 60 minus 45 once i'm having this step what i need is i want to know which formula i can use again it says okay i made an error over here so let me erase it i have to write over here cosine of 60 minus 45 now so let's go where it says cosine of if i will assume this as a and this as b it will become what it will become cosine of a minus b or let me write it over here formula uses what cosine of a minus b this is a formula which i'm using so what is the formula this is a formula cos a cos b plus sine a sine b so I'm just writing over here. Okay. So it is my formula cos A cos B minus sin A sin B. How I got this formula? I got it from here. So what I will do is I will just uh, plug in the values in my formula over here. So it will be looking like this. Cos A, this please pay, pay attention to this part over here. Because 
this is an extension for the cos a the value of a is what 60 degree times cos b the value of b is what 45 minus sine a sine 60 this is a minus sign times sine of b is sine of 45 now we need to find the answer now i will show you an alternate way to do this problem so what i will do over here is i will type over here cos 60 and close the parentheses times cos 45 so this is your cos 45 i gave you different method in the first problem now i'm giving you different method in the second problem minus sine 60 but you will need a graphing or a scientific calculator for this times sine of 45 so alternate method is this also you can type everything in the calculator press the equal button it gives the answer negative radical 6 plus radical 2 negative radical 6 plus radical 2 divided by 4 and this is your answer for this question find the exact value of sine 345 degrees so again I am looking for what I'm looking for two numbers on adding or subtracting gives me what gives me sine of 345 degree only for 345 degrees so if I will look at this chart over here 345 I know easy stuff is if I can take 360 minus 15 but there is no 15 over here so I cannot do that I'm not coming out what about uh, 330 no it does not work anything else which we can do in this so suddenly it came in my mind how about I take 300 over here and I can take 45 from here it gives me what 345 okay 300 plus 45 degree gives me what 345 there are lots of options you can take anything but I just came across I need to take this so 300 plus 45 so this is my okay now it tells me the formula which I can use over here is yours what sine a plus b this is a formula I can use over here this is my a this is my b so sine a plus b my formula is this one make sure you write the formula every time so you can enter the values correctly plus cosine of a times sine of what b this is your sine of b so what I will do is I will just substitute my values over here so sine of a a is what 300 degree cosine of b is what 45 degree plus cosine of a is what 300 and this is your 45 now the last step over here is what I need to plug in the values in my calculator let's take sine 300 it's just nearly three steps which you have to use then it's yours cosine of 45 cosine of 45 and close your parenthesis all the time there's a plus sign over here then you are having cosine of what cosine of 300 close parenthesis times sine of 45 sine of 45 and I will again close my parenthesis and let's press equal sign I got my answer negative radical 6 plus radical 2 is e divided by 4 negative radical 6 plus radical 2 divided by 4 so this is the answer for this question now it might be coming in your mind that sine 345 degree give you this answer and uh, cosine of 15 degree gave you this answer yes because if you will look in the trigonometric table then you will come to know that these two are the same position only so this gives us the same answer now after this uh, you need to practice all of these questions over here these are your questions which you should practice